like we we living in very critical times right now like for sure we're going to talk about you know people going vote and everything like that but uh we we can't vote racism and hate away you know what i'm saying there has to be real things happening and honestly i'm not against what is happening start things off we ask you to uh hit us with a, re- uh, a rewind and tell us a little about yourself and how you got involved in music and how you got here today man not a lot if y'all don't know that about me by now as long as i've been doing these interviews i did a whole year of interviews Thanks. with just one tape drop and y'all should know that by now only thing i am gonna say is i'm from st louis yeah i am gonna say that I'm from st. Louis. yeah um, <laughs> yeah we, we okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, now on a uh, on a more serious note, uh, we're gonna talk about your music a little later. But it's a lot of like new, not new really. Honestly, it's been been happening. Old mm-hmm. news. It's, it's current, current, very current. It's just it's old uh, for us of being tired of it. Uh, but how do you feel about? Um, I might even call it police brutality. I'm gonna call it police murders that's going on because. Our, our people get murdered. Yeah, we get murdered yeah, out the streets, executions. man. executions. Yeah, exactly. So how do you um, feel about this situation and all things going on? I mean, like I uh, spoke about it on Twitter recently, it's, it's frustrating being black because it's like the greatest feeling in the world. Mm-hmm. But um, at the end of the day, we live through so much trauma and we have to snap in and out of reality like so much and the things that most people would like to put behind them and put away hide under the rug like we can't do that because right. it's it's our reality mm-hmm. it's what we live it's what we breathe it's it comes with just living in our skin and um i mean as far as what's going on right now like the looting and the riotings and things like that it just it, it puts things into perspective when people are more upset about that than they are about watching the people who are sworn in to protect us literally murder people without not only without remorse but without consequence mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um so it's like we we living in very critical times right now like for sure we're going to talk about you know people going vote and everything like that but uh we we can't vote racism and hate away you know what i'm saying there has to be real things happening and honestly i'm not against what is happening i'm i'm all i'm all for what's going on i stand with the protesters like i say you have to take something of value from the oppressor they should just be happy we're not doing to them what they're doing to us. Like Michael Mix say, that is their biggest fear. Right, right. And we're not doing that yet. We haven't even gotten there yet. Exactly. But you know, look, how, look do, how scared they are now, though. But when we do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man. 
they scared of us because we we powerful, man. Like the, the the things we do with just our numbers, like because I was just doing a little just research, getting my own facts straight and everything, and like I just looked up how what's the population of black people in like in America? So we own twelve point seven percent. That's it. But look how much influence and power we have. You know our culture. Yeah, just bro, everything about us is more than culture. Just like our whole just like we when we walk in a room, like everybody got looked at us. Mm-hmm. It's not because they say it's because oh, I'm scared and everything. Like, nah, they want to be us. They want to be like right. us. Like they they jealous for our skin. Like that's that, that's why white people go outside and go try to get tans and stuff to get darker because they're trying to get more like us. But they turn more. They you can't know, get like, us the like the things that the things that like come with come with that. It, it dates back way way to like you know what I'm saying. Even before slavery, mm-hmm. it, it goes way back. Like the history behind it is all deep. Yeah. You know, and and in times like this, like I say, more than anything, like we we have to stand together. Yeah. Um, That's the hard part. Right? It's not it's it's not the time to coddle. You know what I'm saying? Other people, other races. Um, <clears throat> yes, there are other minorities and people who do go through you know certain struggles and all, but at the same time, they're not living it like us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. People aren't, they just aren't waking up and having to, like, see the world the way that we see it. Mm-hmm. And at this point, I mean, we got to stop, like I say, the whole thing about hope. Like, that's a poor man's dream, you know what I'm saying? At this point, we we have to take action. That's what people are doing. People are upset, but, like, we look at the Boston Tea Party. I mean, hell, the 4th of July, like, exactly. what is that celebrating? America gaining independence for doing what, though? causing a right, right thing. <laughs> you know? Everything, you know what I'm saying, when people fought for rights and wanted change, it had to come with a riot, it had to come with violence, it had to be shaken up. Mm-hmm. Even if you want to talk about MLK, you know what I'm saying, like, you gotta understand the man was still murdered. Regardless. Assassinated. And right? He and and he, he did it, quote unquote, the right way. So I'm not really here to say what's right, what's wrong, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's entitled to their opinion today, sure. their way of life and their actions, but I feel like in times like now, it just has to be strictly action. And, and like Jay-Z said, people have said, you know, we kneel, now what? But that's true. Now what? Like, you know, Malcolm X said, we're not outnumbered. 12% seems small, but we're not outnumbered. We're not outnumbered and we're definitely not outsmarted. But to this day, we are to an extent out organized. Yeah, for sure. That, that's and, 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 and it's not about let's build a black Wall Street. It's not so much about, you know what I'm saying? The things that people try to pinpoint and, you know, get into the capitalist uh, standpoints and about go to school, get a degree, dress this way, dress that way. That's respectability. Mm-hmm. It's not about all of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the time no more. You gotta stop begging. You gotta stop asking. You just gotta start doing. You gotta go out and get it on your own. That's you just gotta go out and do it and, and get it done and actually make action. And like I say, the people who aren't speaking up, the people who aren't taking a stand, you know what I'm saying? You can't put energy into that. You gotta put energy into the people that are. It's not the time to coddle people and congratulate uh, fish for swimming. I think everybody knows what I'm referring to, like Des Bryant. Yeah. What, what, what happened with him? Uh, he, he made a post, you know, about, um, I know some, basically saying he knows nice white people. Oh, okay, pretty, I see You know, that. plain and simple, yeah. and, and it's like, it's not the time for that. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you're a human being, you're living, you're breathing, you deserve to be respected. You exactly. deserve common you decency. You have a life. Like, you deserve, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Right. And at this point, people are tired. They're tired of asking. Mm-hmm. tired of begging. For sure. They just got to gotta wake people up. You got to shake shit up sometimes. Yep. Excuse my French. Nah, man. But sometimes you got to shake shit up. Because so. that's the only way we're going to get the attention that we need. Because, uh, like... Like I said, this stuff's been happening. It's not like this is brand new. Like, this didn't happen when Trayvon Martin got killed. Like, it's been happening before that. Like, yeah. that's just where, like, right. one of the ones that just made to the headlines and actually something happened afterwards. But, again, the peaceful protests have been happening since then. 
Like we went from protesting, like, and then for like, the past, like, I want to say maybe year or two, like, including like the, the like half of this year, whenever any, um, any like black person would get killed or minority would get killed um, with no, I guess, uh, rep- repercussions or anything, right. like, you wouldn't hear about it. It's not on the news or nothing like right. that. It's right. like people are still doing the protests, like in their cities and stuff. You just don't see that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So it doesn't mean, like, again, it's, it's when it's like just, just cold blooded murder. For like, for just whatever, like no reason at all. And then on top of that, where the cop afterwards he doesn't he doesn't get arrested. He just like he 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 got arrested like four days after it happened. And then they want to do another slap in the face and say it's a third degree murder. Right. Like, bro, the niggas get more charges that for just having some weed on. Them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like come on. It's just don't. It's not. And I, I feel like part of it. Is yes, we're tired and everything, but if you like, it's, I feel like it's more of a thing. Like, if you're gonna do this bullshit, keep that shit across the board. Like, you know, AK, be like that with everybody. Cause I, I used an example yesterday, like how basically how white people take the privilege and everything and how stuff is going on. Right. Like, all right, uh, if somebody's like, all right, uh, it's two kids, all right, come on, kids, got six weeks of candy. One of them gives a five, the other one gives a one. It's like, if we kill the five, he's happy. He like, I'm not getting my candy up. It's my candy. Like I like candy. I'm gonna keep this shit. The kid with one, he's sad and shit. Like, but the kid with five is like, yo, would you chip on? You already got some candy. But instead of like, instead of him just giving you, giving the other kid two, and so it's equal, and they both happy. Like when that, right? You know right. what I'm saying? Like it's just easy fixes like that. Like it's it's more of just the equality. Like uh, that's what we all trying to we trying to reach that point. Um, and we not we're not seeing that. And then to the where we're at now is like we're less than equal, like way less than equal. It's like almost they consider us like, like, man, like scum of the earth or something. Like we just, I don't know, bro. This this shit's just wild to me. It's wild to me because whatever whatever it may be, it could be okay if somebody is breaking into a house, we getting killed, but uh, or somebody just went into a grocery store and walked out and they thought he stole something, getting killed. But it's 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 white. Americans walking around with ARs t- shooting up back, the school and they get, they getting taken to Burger King after exactly man before they even but, hit the precinct like get come a meal. on man he like, get a meal on his way to jail yo, it don't make no sense like it's gotten to the point where kid, people do that stuff like like the the people are cowards they like they kill themselves afterwards but now it's to the point I feel like most of them don't even kill themselves afterwards cause they know they're they gonna know, get away they, know what they play they clean the sanity they ain't good like it's the same way the cops do. They know they good. They protected. Exactly. They're protected by the system. And uh, it's quite frank that we aren't. And like I say, it's it's it it's not it. even it's not even so much that like the Declaration of Independence that they all love so much uh, itself says if the government is unjust, basically abolish it. Rip it up. That's what they Start did. a new one. That's exactly what they did. So now you mad that the people that not only, you know what, not only the people, the people that you went and got and brought over here to build. People that's already here to to, 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 make them build. To build, you know what I'm saying, and take from people who are already here. You're mad that these people want what is rightfully theirs. And honestly, like I say, uh, they upset about the lootings and, and stuff like that. They should be happy it's not worse. 100%. And it could get worse. And like I say, I'm not necessarily advocating against it getting worse because it seems like that's better. what it, that's exactly what it what they need. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Until people can truly empathize and be in your shoes sometimes, they're not going to get it. Yeah. And, and like I say, they're so afraid and fearful of the karma, as most would call it. That's really what it is. They're so fearful, like I say, the oppressed, the oppressor fears that the oppressed is going to do what the oppressor has done to them. Yeah. They're afraid. And they and, and and the biggest thing about it is that it's possible. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like to get too much into like 
the issues that we have into our community is kind of like we got to protect ourselves more as a community. Yeah. All these think pieces and going off about what we need to do to be better, like, in moments like this is not the time. No. You you don't go, it, it's like your mama should raise your granny, grandpa, whatever, like, it, you should just know better the moral code is you don't bring your business outside the house. Mm -hmm. Business stays inside the house and we address it yep. when, when we need to, when time is right. But when we outside, and somebody fighting, guess what? We all fighting. Exactly, exactly. And, and that's really, you know what I'm saying, how it has to be. Like, we could go on and on about the issues we have, and then we also have to even be, we're so hard on ourselves that it makes us hard on one another, not realizing, like I say, as a whole community and a culture, we have so much unlearning to do. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, 500 years of oppression. Yeah. And, and, and yes, I could say that I understand when Ye says things like slavery was a choice, which is probably going to make people upset. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I get, I get what you're saying. But, but at the same token, it's like in times like this, again, like it's just not the time. Because True. now we're seeing in real time repercussions, you know what I'm saying, from a repeated event same things over and over just a different time frame you know what i'm saying because if we if we say that slavery is a choice then we have to say that a lot of things that go on today is a choice, a choice and it's not but because we still have to respect you know what i'm saying the things that were going around and surrounding the times like, like to say things like about Rosa Parks being able to take a cab. Like, you have to respect the times and things that were going on. That's great. It's, it's easier said than done in those situations. Right. We can sit here and say what we would have done and what we love to say stuff like, oh, if I was a slave. I would have did this. Now. But it's like, it's look at the times now. Here's your chance to, to revolt. Yeah. Yeah. This is your chance. You want to be a revolutionary? This is the time. But least, not the time to be quiet, not the time to be still. But a lot of people all talk though. It's like again, like you said, like they gonna say what they can do, can't or or what I what I would do, but when it comes to it, it's like, for example, um people say like, Hey, um the cop, you know, every you know, put their hands on me, like I'll throw hands back or whatever, this that, and the other. Right. But okay, on the instance of say like with George Floyd, um, when he's getting choked out, it's people around the court. Cause it's like it's, I know if they have this one video out where they just keep showing it and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's multiple angles. It's I multiple people hell, with different for, shots and stuff. For every one in a million, like they say, of, of a good, bad cop, white cop, good, bad white person, I say it's a one in a million that it's gonna be somebody that's actually gonna do that. Yeah. It's gonna be somebody that is gonna take that that stands and yeah. stand their ground. Yeah, exactly. I can't, like I say, even with things that are going on right now, like I can't really speak on too much because some of those people, I'm really not in their shoes. Even, even though I'm black and all, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, in Minneapolis right now right. with those people doing what they're doing which like i say i stand with them but i'm not out there actually doing what they're doing right and and so like i say these kind of things like it's not that it's a great area or anything it's just that you have to have so much perspective to yeah. be able to understand mm -hmm. not to see the side like i say of the oppressor but to understand the oppressed mm -hmm. all of us because sometimes like i say there's even a disconnect with one another mm -hmm. so I, I can't really just sit here and always you know you know look at people and be like ah you wouldn't do that because hell i don't know right because even me i say what i'll do and who's who's, who's to, to say, say what, what, well right if i'm ever in that situation god forbid but if i am i can't lie i'm probably gonna do that yeah like i'm probably gonna do that i see a video uh you know a cop tackling 90 year old woman, hey, if that's my granny or my elder, you by way of eat for law, like I'm gonna, you I'm you gonna do in. something. Yeah, yeah, my so spirit so lives yeah. on. Right. Yeah. Right. Because so, what? Do you, how do you feel about so? Because like you said, that it's uh, 
people are saying that there's, you know, good white people, there's good cops and everything like that, but whenever, um, for the instance, for George Floyd, when he was getting choked out, that there was, what, I believe four of the cops on with him, uh -huh. and there's three of them that was also on top of him, on top of the one that was on his neck. So, like, do you feel like they're, they're just as much as part of the problem, correct? Or do you feel like they're just doing their job? And it's like, <laughs> I, um, they were trying to, like, you know, diffuse the situation, basically, and they had nothing to do with that. I don't believe in the oh. good, good cop, bad cop. I believe if you decide to join, it's like saying, is there a good or bad Ku Klux Klan member? <laughs> <laughs> that white man was really nice to me. Then he went home and put on a goddamn hood with a it, put a cross out of my front yard. That don't, that, that don't, you know what I'm saying? Be that it may, he did something nice. He's a piece of crap. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, when it comes to the whole good cop, bad cop thing, I look at it like this. If I come to you with a bowl of M&M's and Skittles, and I tell you, grab a handful, you, you know what I'm saying, on some, <laughs> that's, guess that's what you want is a Skittle. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's so unexpected. Like, what is this? You uh, don't know. Yeah, you, you know, don't know. It, it's, <laughs> and that's, you just don't know. You could be one of those people, oh, I joined to make a difference. Make a difference by speaking up. Make yeah. a difference by stopping when you see that stuff going on. Make a difference by reporting when you know that uh, someone has been dishonorable. Mm -hmm. That's how you make that difference. And people are not doing that. There's some sure that are, but at the end of the day, I say until I want to see these quote-unquote good cops marching with these people. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Don't stand on the side with them. Because you know your station, your precinct is corrupt. Stand on the side of justice. Stand on the side with the people then. Right. Right. That's what I would want to see. Then you could... I, I'm about action. I'm from the Show Me City. I don't say the Show Me State. I'm from the Show Me City. I'm from St. Louis. So I want to see action. Mm -hmm. So until, you know what I'm saying, we see action like that, I don't want to see you dancing, nay naying with the kids in the neighborhood. <laughs> I don't want to see you hooping. Bro, I don't want to see that now. crap, dog. I want to see you really taking a stand against the, the the wrongs and the injustice being done. And, and until then, like I don't I don't believe in the whole good cop narrative. Do do your job, do it well, sure. But like I say. So, if, if you ain't standing up and actually taking a stand, nah. That's what you sworn to do anyways. Exactly. And that's a, again, that's when you the at problem. these protests and you see these cops pushing on these people, it should be cops standing in front of the people. You're supposed to protect us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's, a, it's part of the issue is that um, it's because it's, it's so, so current, I guess, like what prior, a couple weeks prior that... Uh, White people was out in front of the, you know, the you know, city hall and everything. Protesting to go outside to and die. Do not wear masks. Right. When they, we're in a pandemic. Like. We should have let them. <laughs> Man. Natural selection is exactly. a thing, y'all. Hey, 100%. Uh, 100%. <laughs> hey. 100%. I, I, and, and, you know, those people. Look, like I say, these are the kind of things I really don't like to put energy into because it's kind of like it goes without saying. Yeah. We know what it is. We know our president is a coconut head. You know what I'm saying? We know he's a beautiful. We, we, <laughs> we don't have to, for real, we don't have to put our yeah. energy into it when he tweets. We don't have to. I, I tell people all the time, we, when we see certain things on these platforms, don't especially social media, somebody. don't react to it. Let's just report it. Yeah. Let's report the people, report the posts, and just get it deleted. Let's start with that yeah. on, the, on the, you know, spectrum of, what you digest and what you're seeing constantly. Mm -hmm. That's how you dismantle stuff like that. Right. A million replies versus a million reports, you know what I'm saying, on Twitter. It's two different things. Right too much energy being given into this. You're feeding the beast. Yep. Don't feed the beast. Yep. You yep. gotta starve it out. Yep. Yep. Ignore the clown stuff. For sure, because it's, um, it's a lot of people you know how the, the news goes. They're trying to, you know, paint the narrative and everything like that. Uh, when my home was just talking about it, because you know, I, mean, I mentioned that, um, that uh, you know, that um, people in Minneapolis, they started a militia to uh, start protecting the, the black-owned businesses. Right. 
because I don't know if you know, but when it, uh, the, the yeah, exactly. But um, like with the whole, you know, the Target getting burned down and everything. Like first it was, you know, the people was protesting and or rioting. Well, they was they was rioting and uh, was, I guess like looting and stuff for uh, the Target because they wouldn't give the protest supplies, mm -hmm. and so they so they started you know looting from there, but nobody burnt it down. They said, they were saying that some of the person that burned it down was an actual cop. He did. And he was undercover. And he, that's how he burned it down. So, after that happened, I feel like, you know, okay, so, if it looks like, hey, they burned this stuff down, like, alright, you know, before everybody's riding, whatever, okay, I wasn't trying to burn stuff down, but we burned stuff down, let's start burning stuff down. Because, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm on fire. Let's go ahead and do this shit. We're going to burn shit down. Cool. Then it's like, alright, then the next day comes. They see the destruction that they cause and everything like that. But one thing they did report on was that the people, the same people that were out there the last day were sent back the same day the next morning cleaning up the mess that they made. They was mm -hmm. cleaning up and everything, and then like like I said, the militia started up, and then people were protecting the black-owned businesses because uh, my homie sent an article saying that it was uh, a guy that had a restaurant, he was a black-owned uh, had yeah. a black-owned business, and they destroyed right. it. Uh, he started to go from the family, exactly. man, uh, man, the man got $500,000. dollars his, his money back, you know what I'm saying? And so, but they don't talk about that, though. That's not what they want to speak on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the people are coming together still. Like, when this is happening, yeah, it's causing it's some destruction and stuff. It's it's a little chaos, but we're still, we're still a unit. We're still together. We're still holding our own. Um, it's just... The way people paint stuff, bro, it's just you gotta you gotta look for your facts, bro. Don't don't whatever's in front of you is not the best thing and not the only thing that's out there. You gotta look at your information, dog. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people just they take what they they're given and fed into mm -hmm. them. Yeah, especially with the news. But if, if y'all don't know, half these news stations are owned by fucking what two or three companies, dog. So it's most of the same shit anyway. ABC, Fox, CNN. Uh, all three of those, one hundred percent sure, are owned by Disney. So, like, buying everything, exactly. Yeah. Come on. So, how much of how? What do you think is gonna be that much different Disney from different different stations? Race. Yeah. Like, come on. But you know, people people don't know that shit. People don't look. Uh, people don't look into stuff more. A lot of people didn't know that. Uh, but I mean, look at it this way too, though. Mm. As a black person. And I'm not knocking you looking that up because, you know, knowledge is power, as they say. But at the same token, you think I give a damn who owns ABC? Oh, no, I'm not saying no. Nine times not. out of ten, I'm not watching it anyways. I don't know if that's You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, you know what we're getting our info You know where we're getting our info from. Mm -hmm. That's why I say we, we got to be careful we digest it on this, this social media stuff yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? That's our main frame. You know, we got to watch out for these people who own these social media sites. Right. We should get Mark Zuckerberg us anyway. and, and weirdos like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These are the people we really need to be watching out for. Right. And, and, you know, even in the token of, you know, it, it's like, like I say, we have so much, like, we can unravel about our community. Like, but right now, like, I just really want everybody to focus on being strong uh, mentally, physically, and spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Eating right, taking care of their body, taking care of themselves mentally, meditating, praying, yeah. you know, talking to our ancestors, reaching out to the ancestors for ancestors, and, you know, most of all, uh, like I say, sticking together, loving one another, because uh, it's, it's, it's vital right now yeah. that we love each other to, to the death. Yeah. Um, because if, if, we don't see the results that everybody knows plain as day that we should see mm -hmm. this time around it's not gonna be like the other times no. most times it dies out it gets it's, it's, it's not gonna it's not, that it's point not gonna anymore. stop it's not at that point anymore it, it's past that point we've been already at the cap for a minute we've been point. like it's just it's kept, yeah, over now. yeah so so you know i just want um, our people, most of all, to stay prayed up. Uh, like I say, focus on staying mentally, spiritually, and physically fit. Reading books, like you were saying, yeah, knowledge is power. Reading, learning, um, watching where we gear our energy to. Right, um, that's really important. The the yeah. arguments and certain debates that we usually would have. It's like I say, it's the time plus for everything. Right now, it's just not the goddamn time. 
it's a time for a lot of other things because this is Stop reality that. now. Yeah. And uh, right we're in the now. middle of a goddamn pandemic at that. Mm -hmm. At most, don't forget that we are in the middle of a pandemic. That's on the back right take, now. Like I say, take care of yourselves. If you want protests, if you want organize with people, protect yourself. Wear masks. Wear masks. Stay with the sanitizer. Wash your hands. Stay clean. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared for protect tear gas your, and yeah, all that pepper spray yourself. and all that stuff. Be prepared. Um, Be prepared. It's just, you know, it's... it's it's so many forces against us right now, and I just, like I say, I want our people to stay aware, stay stay strong, and and be smart. It's, it's time to get organized, and it's just time to take action. 100%. Um, soon, soon, over like the next few months, we're going to be pulling together some campaigns. Like I say, no, we can't vote racism and things like that away, but we do want to get people that look like us and... Um, live what we live through to get out there, vote, and put some people who actually care behind us and in, in, in those offices. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's it's time to break this system, dismantle it. Yeah. And and that's just one of the many ways. Like I say, that's no that's not the cure, it's not the answer, but that's somewhere where we do have to Pay vital attention. Yeah. We have to. We have to definitely take a take a stance there. Yeah. And so we got to get people going and getting them out there to vote. And like I say, over the next few months, we'll have a lot of campaigning and stuff going on to make sure we getting people registered and ready to that's that's to really, you know what I'm saying. The local votes is really most important. The, yeah. The presidential stuff. That's here you know and right there. It's, 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 anyway, it's so much it's we can do about that. But like, yeah, we definitely got to start locally. So. Yeah. Houston and, and surrounding cities as well in Texas and even my my rap homies, you know, and other people I know out and about in other states and cities, we want to get them involved too because, like I say, like, hope, I, I'm not really about all of that hope and stuff. Like, I'm about action. So we want to get people out there to take action. Yeah. Like yeah. you say, you can pray all day, but if you don't do yeah. action behind it, it don't, yeah, mean, it don't mean anything. You can put Faith your position to do something, but you gotta, you gotta do something. I think everybody has heard that quote once or twice, maybe five times in their life. <laughs> so. But yeah, man. Um, it's well said. Um, I don't think I can say it better myself. You hit all the points. Um, NHL Nelly for president. Uh, <laughs> Damn, One day I'll be thinking about it. I'll be thinking about it. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all never know. Y'all never know. Maybe a man. mayor or something like that. Me and Prime start our own little dystopia, our own little town for real. I've been I've been saying I wanna do that. I'm I love what Akon is doing, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. So I've been saying I wanna do something like that. Alright, All right, so um we're gonna touch on your music a little bit, so cause we don't want the people thinking like he ain't been dropping stuff, but you've been keeping coming with that heat. Yeah. So you got, you drop a lot of music. Yeah, like yes. off, off of Spotify, I seen alone is seven songs, and that's a that's an EP. Seven as singles. A, yeah, seven singles. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, and that's an EP alone right there. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So, um, so what's coming with this uh, this drive that you've been going with? Cause you, you know, again, come with heat like nonstop. Right now, I um want to be dropping. Three songs every week. Okay. Over this next month, I started last week, so this week I'm gonna drop another three songs and okay. at least a video every other week. You know what I'm saying? I'm that um, too. Just trying to stay consistent, push content, and then through that, like I said um, earlier, eventually, you know, I I, I don't really want to just put it out there because he might not be ready for me to just be talking about it. But hopefully, hopefully, prom. Uh, Hopefully NHL Prime be yeah. ready, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Soon ready. Uh, ready drop a single, cause okay. he got some heat in the vault. But yeah, um, that's really been like the main thing, just us staying busy, working, focused uh, through this time, like the quarantine and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know, yeah. I mean, like I had told uh, Cole when I talked to Cole, it's just staying active, using the time wisely. Like, trying to do as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? It's time, hustle, grind it out, and I got a lot of good content coming for the people. And, you know what I'm saying? Look me up, NHO Nelly, all over. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 
Tumblr, anything you think of, N H O Nelly. I'm out there. iTunes, Spotify, Title, all of that. YouTube got videos out. Me and Taz we got a uh, track, Enterprise, been doing numbers, and yeah, we just we just been working. Everybody around me just working. See, that's what's up, though. That's what's up. I mean, the work speak for itself because it's good quality stuff coming through consistently. Since you since you shout dropped, you ain't stopped. Yeah, Darryl. shout out to Chill Daryl with the mm-hmm. crazy mm-hmm. thing. What my sound effects, bro? Anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to drop these hoes. But uh, now, nah, man, just keep up the good work. Y'all got good things going. Um, yes, again, sir. thank you for the message. I appreciate all that uh, stuff. I feel like it's everything that people need to hear. Yes, um, hopefully, this will get out to the right people that need to see this, or the people know. that don't haven't don't know this and haven't heard this before. They right. can get them some understanding on the, on the right. matter. I want all of us to go uh, collectively read How to Be Free by Joe Blow as well as um, Sacred Woman by Queen Four as well. Okay. I want all black folks to go and read those two books. So if you don't want to get into reading, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. I got the dopest. Everybody said I got the dopest book collection. Okay. So hit me up. Uh, I got you. But like I said, I want my people to be be spiritually, physically, mentally well and blessed. So, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Um, all right, so we're going to close things out real quick. Uh, so, we uh, do this little segment at the end. We ask you what you're uninterested and interested in. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I'm uninterested in, uh, I'm uninterested in just, uh, I feel like I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. It's like government. It's how they run everything. It's just trash as a whole. Um, there's other countries that's, that's shitty, don't get me wrong, but not as shitty as we are. You know, like, we, we, it's a different level with it. Um, and it's past the time for something to change. Uh, the Declaration of Independence, all that stuff is from, like, the 1700s. That stuff needs to change. Right. Um, they gave us civil rights as, like, a, oh, here, here nigga, damn, type shit. So, you know, like, that's, that's, that's not right, enough. That's right, not enough. Right, More right. needs to be done. Some things need to be changed. Right. And uh, it's time for that, so. And what I'm interested in is just the, um, just all my black brothers and sisters, man, um, everybody is, that is sticking together and working together to make a change, um, like you said, we're tired. We're all tired, and, um, and I'm glad that everybody's at the point where they're tired, because it's been, it's been decades, centuries that we've been going through this stuff, and enough is enough. Okay. It's enough is enough. So it's just, I'm glad that we're all coming together, at yeah, least right. slowly but surely. So, what do you have? Okay. Uninterested and interested. Dang, that's, that's cool. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, today, I am interested in blacks getting more into politics like we were just speaking on. Um, like I say, it is a tough conversation, even coming from someone who used to take a hard stance against voting. Mm-hmm. But um, through getting older and just knowledge and like I say speaking of the answers and just praying and knowing things now and seeing things differently like it's just so much work that has to be done and that's one of the major steps you know what I'm saying I feel like it's kind of the easiest step that I can speak to most people who look like me and move like me um about so I'm definitely into the young black crowd getting it more into politics and voting um I'm uninterested in division um and when i talk about division i'm mostly talking about the division we create amongst ourselves um whether it be through sexual orientation whether it be through i'm a man or i'm a woman so my opinion is more uh valuable i'm light-skinned i'm dark that kind of thing um i've never really liked that we let like i say we got to keep the business in the house and so many times we let the outsider in the house and they mm-hmm. cause confusion so much so to the point that like I said we damn near hate ourselves and now we hate each other and um I'm hoping sorry like I said I don't believe in hope I'm knowing that uh with everything going on and you know the events the current events I'm knowing that now people are starting to see like we've always been told by our elders we all won, no matter how you look at it. So in one fight, we all fight. Like Emmett Till's mother said, 
what affects one of us, it affects all of us. Because just as much as you can't go outside and be black as a man, I can't go outside and be black as a woman. Sandra Bland, Rihanna Taylor, you know what I'm saying? We have these stories of black women as well. Yeah. So it's like all of us have to realize, you know, we, we on the same playing field, we on the same team at the end of the day. Light skin, dark skin, gay, trans, uh, male, female, you know what I'm saying? How you identify whoever you are, your status, your class. It, it's really at the end of the day, we are all one. We all supposed to be on the same team. So I'm knowing, like I said, with everything going on, like, we going to see change. If we don't see change, we going to make change. We gonna make change. We gonna make it make sense, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all facts. I can't even say no better. Um, appreciate you again, Nelly, for coming out yes, for sir. sharing the message Thank with us. Me. Anytime, anytime. Uh, you already know what to do. Follow NHL Nelly. Uh, listen to her all streaming platforms. Um, anything you wanna drop coming soon. Just, just stay tuned like y'all been staying tuned y'all see what it is, is. we dropping yeah, we yeah, dropping yeah. Man. nothing happens overnight campaign yeah uh we got a common interest don't forget to like subscribe share to a friend tell your mom your daddy uh tell that white bastard down the street <laughs> um, <laughs> tell uh tell whoever spread the message and uh stay consistent with your vision because you're blessed with another day in the mission thanks for tuning in we're the common interest let me know hey. next time we all going out there too so i can come and join and you know fight the power i want to hey, be out the there power. with my people for real for yeah, real yeah. so yeah, i might come out there with a bazooka or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> pick right. me up from the sideboard <laughs> all right we'll catch you next time peace